Look at the snow on the mountain. Sammy's like, what? You see the snow on the mountain, Sammy? And that, to the right, is Valacita Lake. Look at the pine trees. We are at Blue Spruce RV Park in Colorado, and I was asked why this RV park or why this area. Well, because when I was younger growing up, we spent, me and my family, um, spent our summer vacations here at this RV park. And around, we was centrally located here, but I had a motorcycle mini bike, motorcycle, and I would take off and ride throughout the country around here. But so basically, I just wanted to come back and um, kind of see if it's changed, see what's changed, if I remember things. And um, I want to say that we spent five or six summers here. I don't. I don't even know really but a lot of summers so just wanted to start out my are you going somewhere Sammy okay you want to sit in front of the camera okay <laughs> you're gonna have to move back baby you're gonna have to move back so anyway I just wanted to um, come here start my Colorado vacation here in the south and um, kind of just wanted to go back and visit some of the places that I'd visited before. I don't know that this is the specific trail that I was on at one point as a child. And um, of course I was a daredevil, I guess, back then, but my parents just allowed me to <laughs> ride my motorcycle, my mini bike, uh, take off a up the mountains and I always came back home <laughs> never hurt but this one instant that I remember is we hiked me and my cousin she was a little older than me we hiked to the very top of this mountain and we got in a rainstorm lightning storm and lightning was coming down all around us and that was pretty scary and she was of the thought of lay down flat and I was like uh, no I'm not laying down flat I mean I think we even saw some lightning hit some trees and that's my memory anyway and but I was not for one minute gonna lay down and just let lightning hit me so <laughs> I left her on, on the mountain and I held it I tailed it down the mountain in the rain and half the time I was on my butt going down that it was pretty steep but it was like it was a river flowing down that trail and I was on my butt and I'd get back up on my feet and run and but anyway get back down to the camper here in the campsite or in the campground my parents are gone <laughs> can't get it I was sopping wet can't get in the camper I think they went after my brother. I don't remember what happened there, but maybe he can tell you in the comments below. But I think he was in a pickup and something off the road or something. I don't know. But anyway, long story short. Um, so I just wanted to kind of do a video of remembering my childhood in this area. I will show you some of the other places we went. Um, me and my brother and my sister-in-law, we backpacked at a backpacking trip. It ended up only being one night. 
but I will show you that area and um, tell you a little bit about that. That was that trailhead started in a different um, campground. If you're ever in this vicinity of Valacita Lake, make sure you come by Blue Spruce RV Park and Cabins. It's a great RV park. The people are awesome here. Um, it's really nice. It's very crowded. It's a packed park, but it's if you're going to stay in an RV park, then at least you got the beauty around. So Sammy's like, all right, let's go hiking. She's tired of sitting. All right, you ready? Okay. You ready? <laughs> all right, let's go. So I am stopped on the side of the road here going back to the RV park. And we used to stop here all the time um, because there was a pipe sticking out of the rock. There was a pipe sticking out of the rock um, with water coming out of it. And it used to say, painted on the rock, it'd say, have a drink. So we would always stop here and have a drink. Um, Mike can't even remember that my mom and dad filled up some water jugs. I'm not sure. But we just drank right out of these, these, this one pipe. I don't see that pipe, but I do see a PVC pipe. So let's go over there and check it out. Water just coming down off the mountain. And then I thought right in here, I don't see anywhere where it says have a drink. But here is a PVC pipe sticking out of the out of the rock. Okay, this one's flowing really good. And it's got a pipe too. Mmm, tastes good. So now I am in uh, Valocito Campground. Um, it's at the very end of Road 500, I think. And it's packed today. It's Saturday, so it's packed. So I'm, I'm going awful slow through this campground. But. <laughs> What I remember about this campground is that when I was a kid, I, um, at the very end of the campground, there is a at the very end of the campground, there's a trailhead. And there's a trail, I'm not sure the name, maybe I'll get down here and see what the name of it is. But it is a trail that takes you to Silverton. It's a two or three day trip, backpacking trip. And you can backpack to Silverton, Colorado. And then somebody can pick you up there. But what we were gonna do was we were gonna backpack to Silverton and then ride the train back to Durango. And then our parents were going to pick us up in Durango. But um, that didn't happen. It ended up just being a one night backpacking trip. Me and my sister-in-law ended up getting sore throats. We didn't feel like having to backpack a whole other day. Spend the night in the cold and then hike some more. We got up the next morning and we hiked back down the mountain the way we came and we got to this campground and the whole campground was empty and we were like why is the campground empty of course our parents were staying at Blue Spruce RV Park down the road about a mile and a half down the road so we get down here and we're walking through the campground like why why is the whole campground empty? Basically, it was evacuated. 
and we get towards the front of the park and we see a beer, big, big bear cage with a big old side of beef hanging in it. So, <laughs> of course, we were freaked out after that. Um, but we ended up continuing walking. We made it out alive. And we continued to walk to uh, where our parents were. But anyway, this is a nice campground. I, it's a paid campground. It does have water or it does have electric, I see. Some campsites do. But um, I might stay here at some point. It's more camping like instead of RV park like, which I like better. Because right now I'm parked, I'm packed in like sardines. Alright. So maybe that was it because I don't even see another kiosk area or trailhead area. But anyway, alright, I'm out of here. Okay, take 12. Let's see if we can get this done. <laughs> Sammy's running up and down the rocks. I'm running. And then we have wildlife. Yeah. She <laughs> found a cat, didn't you? Yeah, found a cat up here.